Hi, and welcome to the Daddy Daughter Dance. My name is Tobin Walsh. I'm a top parenting blogger. You can find my work at goodbaddad.com. But most importantly, the beautiful young lady next to me that's in our brand new studio calls me dad. And she is my nine-year-old daughter, Viviana. Say hi to the people of Vivi. Hey, guys. So welcome to the show today. Today on the podcast, we're going to talk more about our new little puppy. And I say we're going to talk more about it. Um, we actually uploaded for fun a quick YouTube video. Vivi, describe what the YouTube video did for the people who haven't seen it yet. Um, it was a, it was a video of three things we tried to do with our dad. One was a success, but two were fails. What did we? What one did we do well? We did um, Rosie Calm very well. <laughs> so our new puppy is a little German Shepherd. It's. 10, week, 10 weeks old, probably. Yeah. Um, she, for the most part, is a pretty good dog so far, but we're trying our very best. We've never had a good dog in the house, so we've had a few dogs over the course of time, two probably in Vivi's lifetime yeah. in the last nine years, and they've been pretty bad, right? Yeah. So what we're trying to do is start very young with Rosie, trying to get the kids involved with getting the dog trained, because the last thing we want is to... Add some more responsibility and more heartache to our family. We have enough of that, don't we? Yes. But I got to tell you, it's exhausting to have this dog. It is. What you guys have to be up like a lot during the night just to take her out. It's it's a lot of responsibility. Yes. So what part, what, what role do you play in that? I sometimes take her out. I watch her. And. <laughs> really? Watch her. I watch her. Air and quote. I play with her. Okay, so the kids... So the process of getting this dog probably started several months ago when you guys wanted a dog. We had our, we had found families to adopt our previous pets, you know, before... It's yeah. been years by now, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we had a little... We had two dogs. Uh, we had a little... Jeez, uh, I don't even remember what uh, Caesar was. A little Yorkie. A Yorkie, yeah. That we got... We found a new family probably three years ago. Right? Two, three. Two, three years ago. So that ended well, but we had we had been petless since and really kind of got lulled to sleep by the lack of responsibility, I yeah, think, right? it was. But my wife is a dog person, and I do think there is some good lessons to be learned by kids growing up with dogs. Yeah. What, what lessons do you think, Viv? Like, you shouldn't just... It, it teaches responsibility, and... Yeah, I yeah. agree. I mean... And what we wanted to do was we thought we were in a little better position. So Emerson's our youngest. She's three. Yosef's our oldest. He's 13. We thought potentially this would be a good opportunity, probably the right timing for the kids to try again and for us to try to uh, do our best to train the dog, right? Yeah. So um, the YouTube video is up. You can check it out at the Good Bad Dad YouTube channel. There's some fun videos up there. We'll try to do more of that, right? Yeah. That was kind of fun. And by the way, four of my five kids were involved with the making of that video, so I was kind of proud of that. That was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, so what we're doing here at the house is employing a couple of different things. Mostly my wife is leading the charge because she absolutely is dead set that we're going to have this dog be a really good dog. So Rosie is going to be a good dog. And the kids are going to be involved in training her. Are you ready for that, Viv? Yeah, there's a lot of steps in training her, though. <laughs> so we're using something, uh, the online dog trainer, uh, a, a New Zealand guy who has a really cool accent, maybe thinks, um, that has a bunch of online tutorials that I think we've paid some kind of nominal amount. It's a small amount, I think, so far, a couple bucks or something. And so he seems to have some pretty good concepts. But the one thing that interests me, um, I write about being a father. Obviously, I have five kids. I'm a dad all the time. Um, you know what intrigues me, Vivi, is that a lot of the lessons are sort of parallels to like raising kids. Like, yeah. a lot of the stuff he talks about you have to do with dogs, like, I have to do with you guys, right? Yeah. Like what? He talks about, like, he talked about the five rules you should do by training. It's one rule is danger, and <laughs> one rule is, like, controlling your food. Like, after we eat, we, she eats. So, and Yeah, then, some weird, like, stuff you never think of. At least yeah. I wouldn't. Would you? No. Okay. So what Vivi is alluding to, so this uh, Doggy Dan is a new guy from New Zealand that's, that's pretty funny. He looks like Josh Groban, uh, <laughs> curly haired, kind of squirrely guy, but really hilarious. And um, his he has this thing called the, I'm told, called the canine code. 
the canine code is what Vivi's alluding to, where there's like five concepts that if you don't learn anything else from Doggy Dan, you have to learn these five things, right? Um, so a lot of it has to do with ignoring the dog, which is weird. Yeah, like when you come in the door, you have to ignore him. Is that hard her, to do? Because it's teaching her, you, like if you have a visitor, you probably don't like when dogs just come up and jump on you. Yeah, that's like the worst, right? You go into somebody's house and you have to like barricade yeah. yourself and the dog in the house. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can think of a lot of, uh, at least every dog we've probably had that's done that. Yeah. Or the dog comes up and pees on your shoes or like smells your crotch. Pretty nasty. Yeah. So, uh, so basically, I again, Amy, my wife, is the one that's doing a lot of this, the heavy lifting here. But what I've gleaned from this small clips I've seen is it's not just ignoring the dog it's basically like showing the dog who's boss right yeah. that he understands basically, that there's an adult the main authority idea figure of all the um the all the rules is that we just try and make her like not be like a dog that jumps on you yeah or like a misbehaving dog we're trying to make her like that She's going to know that we're the boss. Yeah, exactly. So, without being mean, though, that's what I kind of yeah. like about this Doggy Dan character. Is it's not like you're pulling leashes or, like, blowing whistles or, like, smacking the dog. Or I remember when I was a kid, Vivi, we had the we had terrible dogs. And my dad was not a dog person, right? So, <laughs> when the dog would, like, pee in the house, he would flip out and, like, rub its nose in it, throw it outside, you know. But Doggy Dan doesn't advocate for that. I'm just saying, you're kind of like that. Me? Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Man, that's that's rough. <laughs> I know I'm working on it though, right? Yeah, you are. Yeah, You're getting better, but... So what maybe, so I'm glad you brought that up because the hardest part for me is probably the hardest part about raising kids. There's like two themes that I, I take away from Doggy Dan and also with like being around you guys now. And the idea is that everything comes back to two key qualities that I got to exercise. And I'm not very good at it sometimes, right? First, yeah. being calm and being patient. Do I have patience very much? Well, you're halfway there. I mean, what, I don't either. You I, don't either? I don't have patience. I'm trying to think of the last time I was... Well, mornings are a good are a good proxy for the day, right? So a lot of times our mornings are pretty chaotic. We're working out and getting lunches ready. And the kids are trying to get reading done. And it's really hard to stay patient. For me, at least. Right, Vivi? Do you notice when I get impatient that I get kind of Yeah, growly? it's kind of overwhelming. And I'm like, go, you know, all the kids get that doing, ham on your sandwich. Sometimes all the kids are doing <laughs> different things, so it's pretty overwhelming. And sometimes you just can't take care of the dog. When you when you have so many people doing all different things, you just can't. Sometimes it's kind of out of control in our house. Yeah, our house is nuts. Things. Yeah, and that's one of the things that I worry about for the new dog is that our house is never calm. So how can we be calm, right? And how can the dog be calm? Yeah. Man, this we'll have to work on it. This is first um, time like with a big, fa- big, big family. Yeah, no kidding. And then the second thing I think, the second quality that I see with parents that I don't do so well, and I'll get your opinion, maybe, of consistency. Do you know what that word means? No. So, like, well, in parenting, I, mean, I would say being consistent means that I, the same things you might get in trouble for, Yosef yeah. gets in trouble for, your sister's the same, treating everybody the same. Yeah. So, every situation would be the same. So, for the dog, how can we do that? Like, what's a consistent pattern we can set for the dog? Um, peeing on the floor. I mean, like, <laughs> humans don't do that, but I mean. <laughs> no, but I'm... <laughs> Okay, humans don't be on the floor. No. So, but a consistent pattern for the dog, like doggy dan would say, hey, you know, do the same process when you take the dog out yeah, to go like, to the bathroom. Like, you always have to ignore her when, like, you come yeah, into the door. That everybody acts a yeah. certain way or else it all goes, you know, all goes downhill, right? Yeah. So a lot of, I mean, it's interesting because a lot of the stuff that makes, I guess, a good dog might be stuff that I got to work on, right? Being calm. Yeah. Not being so freaked out all the time. Yeah. You don't have to worry that much. Yeah, I'm a worrier, right? Yeah. You can feel that? Worry a lot. You can feel that, huh? Yeah. Really? That makes me feel bad. But I worry because I care. Yeah, you care, but you just worry a lot. You know, there's probably you a good balance. don't have to worry so much. Yeah. But I worry about you a lot. I worry about you too when you're driving. Am I driving? Yeah. Oh, God. Well, we live in a place where it's hard to drive, right? 
There's so many people in Florida. <laughs> no kidding. Well, I'll tell you what. I, I'll work on being calm, not okay. worrying so much, being consistent, being right? Being patient. Being patient. Anything else? Being <laughs> no. taller? Well, I have being, to... being better in shape? No. I'm good on that stuff, yeah. huh? Okay. I have to work on being patient, getting more mature, and like <laughs> following the rules. What if I want you to stay immature forever? I want to be immature forever, <laughs> but when I'm an adult, I'm going to be like, no, no, you're, no. You're professional in immaturity. Yes. But that's the only way I'll have it. If you if you see me with my friends, you don't know how like, immature we are. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've seen it before. Trust me. Well, I'll tell you what. Whether it's being more mature, being consistent, or being calm, that'll help us together, and it'll help our dog, right? So I would encourage you to go over to um, YouTube, search out our page. Uh, we're going to be posting videos there periodically, some fun yeah. stuff. Vivi loves to be on camera, so we'll do that. Is that a deal, Vivi? Yeah. And okay. We'll probably. Well, I think we should post more podcasts and videos. Okay. Well, we'll see what we can video. do. Now that we have our fancy recording studio, which also doubles as my daughter's playroom, and we are hooked up with video recording equipment, maybe we'll do that in the future. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I had fun today. Thanks for spending the time with me. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you for joining the Daddy Daughter Dance. <laughs>